Hi Libra, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of June the 13th to the 20th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people requesting readings from me into my circle and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and any answers to questions, I invite and welcome you to go to my private website. And that is www.brendatero, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. There everything will be explained, how to schedule an appointment with me, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and what my fees are for my services. See you soon. Libra, we start our week on Monday with a major card, and you have been given the balance card. This is all about... This is all about uh, the need for balance and doing things in moderation. Don't jump in with both feet and then wonder how you're going to get yourself out of that situation. It's all about cooperation and compromise with this, with this balance card. Know that you need to wait for the perfect timing before you act upon anything important right now. Tuesday, three of Earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, uh, jobs, professions, how we bring that currency into our lives. It also has to do with Mother Earth, and it can have to do with our closest circle, which is our family circle. This is telling me that some of you have the power of creativity within yourselves. You're able to do things that uh, others can't do, and you do it very, very well because you're being recognized now at your place of employment for the high quality work that you're putting out there. You're also being recognized for being a tremendous team player. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given the three of fire. Fire cards have to do with setting our, our passions and our thoughts, uh, our ideas into motion. Sometimes it can have to do with risk taking or adventure, uh, but generally it has to do with self-development. Abundance is coming into some of you. This card signifies that. Things are looking very good. Things are improving on your path right now. But you still need to have patience. Once things start to improve, you're going to be able to make long-term plans. Thursday, Ace of Earth. Aces are the beginnings of anything in any of the suits. This tells me that there is going to be, again, this is back-to-back, -back, an, an inflow of abundance. This is that material card that often refers to the currency and the abundance in the form of money that comes into our circle. And there is going to be a promising business venture for some of you because they show me that you're going to be signing important documents and contracts. Friday, five of fire. So, now you're going to be dealing with uh, on Friday with some people that kind of are going to, you know, get to you and irritate you a bit. And the reason is, is because there seems to be a bit of competition there with goals. And there may be some bothersome details and there may be some little conflicts. So, heads up for Friday, my friend. Saturday, the Ace of Water. Beautiful card. Shows me that some of you are falling in love. You're in a beautiful, lo loving, intimate relationship. For others that have been in a long-term relationship that seems to be getting a little bit boring and stagnant, know that there will be the resurgence of that relationship. For others, I see spiritual growth and enhanced intuition. And for others, I see you moving to a new home. Sunday, the end of the week. Six of Water, relationship card again, uh, shows me that some of you are uh, romanticizing uh, and thinking and daydreaming about your past. You're going all the way back almost to when you were a child. You're thinking about those times in your life. For others, I see you dealing right now with issues with children right here and now in your life. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card, and this tells me some of you need to spend time meditating. You need to take yourself to the silence. You need to take yourself to bring yourself that peace and find out your self-discovery and ask those questions and just listen to the silence and the answers that you're going to receive. Take yourself to meditation, my friend. It will 
it, it is so spiritual when you do this. It's so peaceful. It's uh, enlightening. It's it enhances everything about your life when you do. I wish you a great remainder to today, Libra, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to again. I leave you with another quote, and the quote I chose today is, A thousand candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. See you again next week, Libra, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.